Hey guys, Bayward Boondogger here. I want to show you my propane, portable propane shower. I got this idea um, off of the internet, um, just some YouTube videos. This is a, an off-grid shower. So right here you can see I've got uh, five gallons of uh, water here. <clears throat> and then that uh, got some vinyl tubing. That goes into um, a flow jet. Uh, water pump that I got here for $50 on Amazon uh, and then that goes up into this propane water heater it's uh, the EcoTemp L5 model um, okay and then uh, of course it generates heat from the uh, propane so I've got that uh, also you need power I need power to run this pump here so I've got a it's a 12 volt pump and I've got a uh, marine battery in here Nothing fancy, just something that I bought from Walmart, and I think I've got a, uh, some videos, uh, some old videos uh, where I originally purchased that. Anyway, here's the setup. It's kind of gangly right now. I need to consolidate this, uh, figure out a way to uh, get everything into like one neat package, something that maybe like uh, like a dolly or something like that, so I can put this heavy propane tank, or maybe even get a smaller propane tank. Uh, and then maybe even a smaller battery, I don't know. Maybe mount that to a dolly. Uh, I've seen someone on YouTube has already done something similar. Um, but yeah, so this gives me the ability to take showers off-grid anywhere. Um, some of the best times that I've had um, were um, just boondocking. When I was driving from Washington uh, back to California here, I would sleep in Honda Element and I had I just felt like so much freedom. I could drive anywhere. Uh, park at night and then that's where I would sleep and then in the morning I could wake up at that place so that place could be uh, you know somewhere I got drunk and you know I want to not drink and drive so outside of a bar or it could be something like uh, the oceanfront and I've done that before that's a really nice feeling what's not such a great feeling is when you get into like day two three four and you just get all sweaty and you haven't had that shower and you feel shitty so <clears throat> This is kind of my solution to that. Uh, I've also got a uh, privacy tent that I'll be setting up later. I kind of splurged on that, and spent about uh, $100 on that, but uh, um, I will try to put that in this video later when I get it all set up. Going on a camping trip here, uh, my girlfriend is flying down from Washington. We'll uh, give this a shot and see how it works. Uh, it's a mess right now, so at this point, I wish I had just got a, a solar um, bag, solar uh, called solar showers. You can get them on uh, Amazon for what, uh, like twenty dollars. And then the idea is you just keep them. It, it's just a bag of water, and you put it maybe like on your roof and let it sit in the sun for a little while, and then uh, then you're ready to take a shower. This, however, is instant. So if it's a cold morning, I can wake up and take a shower. Now the reason I didn't just get a uh, solar uh, shower is because um, I also have a dual purpose here uh, without using this water pump I'll just use the pressure from my hose at the RV park and uh, that should give me uh, instant on uh, water or sorry a, a hot shower like instant hot shower that's been kind of a bummer where I'm living right now uh, in an RV <clears throat> you have to pay uh, all this money to get your hookups but you're still using uh, propane uh, propane heaters that uh, heat up a... It's very inefficient, I guess. It heats up a five-gallon tank of water, and it's you're, like, racing to get everything, you know, washed uh, in time before you run out of cold water. Uh, so this is now endless, an endless supply. I think there's a safety feature that uh, it will turn off after 20 minutes, but, you know, just flick the switch, and you've got an endless supply of hot water. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, like I said, I got this as a dual purpose. It's not just for an off-grid uh, <clears throat> shower. You know, my water pump allows me to do that. But my plan uh, is to eventually replace the uh, the five-gallon uh, propane heater that I've water heater that I've got in the RV uh, with this. So I want to. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to. This is another separate project, but I need to use some PEX water lines uh, so that I can uh, hook right into the existing water lines in the RV. Uh, and then, is same goes for this propane uh, line right here. I need to figure out how to 
hook this into the into the lines. That'll allow me to move my setup that I've got in here. Um, you know, like I'm in a 24 foot RV, so space is at a premium here. So um, my water heater is actually right under that bench seat right there. Uh, so my idea is that once I get this all set up, this propane heater, I can remove this bench. That will give me so much more room in here. Um, my idea is to actually remove this as well. But there's something under there, I forget what it is. I think it's like the, uh, the water lines. But anyway, <clears throat> that's my that's my setup. That's what that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm really I'm really happy. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. I don't have a, a switch or anything. Maybe I can install something like that later. But currently, right now, I've just got the the current on switch. I guess it's just to, I got the negative already connected, and then I just whoop, little spark there. Oh shit! What an idiot, dude! I just left. <laughs> oh god! I just left that on in the turned it on inside my car. Huh, it's not working right now. Why is that? Oh, that's because I turned it off. Oh no, it's on. Uh, I can hear... Okay, so I gotta troubleshoot this a little bit. It, the water pump doesn't work all that great. Uh, what's going on? Maybe we're not, like, we're not in the water here? There we go. Made a nice connection with the water. I think it's starting to suck. Uh, yeah, what's going on? Okay, so... <clears throat> Let me put it pause, see if I can get this figured out. Okay, there we go. It takes a little finagling sometimes. I, it's not uh, getting a good contact there. It's not sucking up the water like it should. All right, so I've got it on right now. Everything is on. I don't feel any hot water. So I'm still trying to figure this system out here. But uh, here's the idea. Look at that. Pretty good pressure from a little water pump. No hot water, though. All right, there we go. Now we've got actually. Oh yeah, that's really hot. So my problem here is that this. God damn it! See this hose is curling around on itself and it's not making a good connection. Wow, that's hot. Ooh, now I'm spraying. Okay. Yeah, and sure enough, it's uh, that's what the problem was. This uh, it's got a natural kink to it still. This vinyl tubing, and it was just curling. Uh, up on itself and uh, was not submerged under the water. So once I got this uh, other bucket here filled it and I was able to ensure that it's underwater, everything was working just fine. Hot water. Um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you the model numbers in case anyone's curious and they want to do this themselves. Um, <clears throat> so here is the uh, Flowjet water system pump. 12 volt, uh, self priming, dry running, soft, whatever. Um, so I got this off of Amazon for, I think it was like $52. It was an Amazon uh, Prime item. Uh, needed a, a couple of these. There's no model number on that, but that helped me get through the project. Uh, had to get some wire nuts as well. Use the orange kind, whatever that means. Here's the, the actual, the main part of this thing. It's the model number like i said it's the eco temp l5 does that show up yeah there's the l5 lpg something 11 kilowatt i don't know whatever whatever um and then here's the the battery that i've got this is uh not you don't need this but it's the evermax max 96 amp or something anyway i just got that at walmart but any battery is going to do i mean you want to go with it uh deep cycle marine battery, of course, for uh, things like this. Uh, you don't want to use a cranking battery. You can use your car, just your, your car battery, as long as you're not going to be. Because you keep keep in mind that uh, you don't want to use it for too long. You want to make sure you recharge your battery, because that will, as you know, that's going to shorten the life of your battery there. So, uh, okay. All right, well, anyway, this is still a work in pro progress. This is my prototype. They were boondocker 2014, baby. Woo!